Hey guys, David here from Google 55 Tech Tutorials, and today I'm here with a review of Pair OS 8. Okay, so let's get started. So for those of you who don't know, Pair OS 8 is the newest version of Pair OS, which was released a few days ago. And basically what Pair OS is, is it's a Linux-based operating system based off of Ubuntu, which basically tries to give you a Mac-like experience, but obviously for free using open source software. So basically what they're aiming to do here is make it look and feel like you're using a Mac, but it gives you the experience without having to shell out a bunch of money. So anyways, let's get into the review. So here I am at the login screen. You can see it does differ a lot from Mac. However, it still has that same sort of feel, that nice clean feel. So I'm just gonna go ahead and log in here. And again, even the username, the way it slides up when you go to enter in your password, that also happens on a Mac, so very similar. Uh, you could see that we are at the desktop now. It actually looks a lot like a Mac. So we have the dock down below. We also have the panel up above, and we have a pear instead of an apple in the corner over here. Same function, gives you information about the computer and stuff like that, allows you the option to shut down. Uh, you could see here that I'm actually running Pear OS in a virtual machine. This is the 64-bit edition. Now, for those of you who don't know, Pear OS actually does run on hardware that is far inferior to hardware that you need to run Mac OS X. So basically, Pear OS will even work on 512 megabytes of RAM. It is very fast. It is probably as fast as Mac OS X. Obviously, you don't have the same software flexibility as this does only run Linux software, unless you're under Wine, which then it can run Windows software. However, it definitely is a good OS to try on an older computer or even on your newer computer that you just want the Mac-like experience on. So you can see there that it also does have animations when you're opening and closing windows. So let's take a look at the dock at the bottom. So you have your icons here. Looks like a normal Mac dock. The icons look slightly different, but it's basically based off of the same thing. And let's go ahead and open something. So I'm just going to open up system settings to basically show you guys the similarities between Mac and this. So you can see that the dock even does some sort of a bounce animation that is very similar to Mac OS X. And you can see that the system settings look very similar to Mac too. So I'm just gonna go ahead and close that. Now the dock also comes with Launchpad and if we hit that, you can see that Launchpad here actually looks very similar to the Launchpad in Mac OS X. So you can see here, this is where all our applications are. You could see that basically Pear OS just comes with the basics, the very, very basics. So what I really liked about it is there's no junk software that comes with it that you're never going to use. I can definitely see myself using everything in here. The software selection is great. It comes with software that is most commonly used, such as Firefox, Thunderbird. And it also comes with a music application, which I liked quite a bit. And uh, basically, it doesn't really resemble iTunes that much, in my opinion. It resembles more Windows Media Player. But if you're going to play media, it has a nice animation. So again, going along with the kind of clean feeling that Mac OS X has and the more innovative feeling, um, it has that too. And you can also see the menu bar up here works just the same way that it does in Mac OS X. And in my opinion, the animations up here for the menus are actually nicer than Mac OS X. It kind of has a zooming effect when you go over the menu. So I'm just going to go ahead and click quit. So that I actually do like better than Mac OS X even. So now let's take a look at the dock at the top. Again, looks just like your typical Mac dock. We have also a spotlight feature over here. So you could search for things on your computer. We have our notifications, which involve your networking, your email, your sound settings, and you also have your date and time, and you even have a notification center. Now, the notification center does definitely look a bit different than in Mac OS X. I personally like the Mac OS X notification center better, but again, this is a free operating system, so you get what you paid for, which in my opinion, this is definitely a very good thing. Now, since this is Ubuntu-based, basically, you also have your Synaptic Package Manager where you can go to install additional software. So obviously, Pear OS 8 doesn't come with too much software already. So it's definitely essential to have a package manager where you could go and install extra software. So basically, in here, you'll have all the software that you'll also find on Ubuntu. Ubuntu repos and packages should also work with Pear OS 8, which is great because it gives a diversity and gives you choice in your packages. Again, like I said earlier, Pear OS 8 doesn't come with a lot of packages by default. However, I do think that's better than giving you too many 
that you'll never use and then you will have to delete. Okay, one feature of Pear OS that I really liked is actually the Pear Cloud. Now, for those of you who aren't too Apple savvy, I'll say, one of Apple's biggest features right now is iCloud, which basically allows you to store everything in the cloud, such as passwords, notes, calendar information, contacts, and things like that. Pear Cloud is basically the same thing, but again, it is free. So in order for this to work, you have to create a Pear ID, which you can do by clicking there. And you can see even the windows opening, it just has that kind of Mac feel to it. There's animations and everything. You need to make a Pear ID. Basically, it works the same way as an Apple ID. And you get two gigabytes of free online storage for all this. Now, the good thing about this is your Pear Cloud is not just accessible from a computer running Pear OS. It's actually accessible from any computer that is connected to the internet. So that is actually a bonus to Mac. Mac, you can only really access your iCloud files from an Apple device that is compatible with it. However, with Pear OS, you can access your files from anywhere. Any files that you store in the Pear Cloud, you can access them. So I'm just gonna go ahead, since we already do have two windows open, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you a feature that I think really resembled Mac, and that's the expose feature as they call it on a Mac. I'm not too sure what they call it here, but basically if you move your cursor to the upper left corner, you get your choice between windows and you can actually select your window. And you can see the animation is very similar to Mac OS X. So you can also close your window. And again, since we already have a window open, I'll just show you the minimize animation. So obviously it's not exactly Mac OS X, so the animation is a bit different, but again, it's keeping with that kind of elegant feel that you get from using a Mac. So that's it for this OS review slash demo. In my opinion, Pear OS 8 is definitely a great Linux distribution if you want the Mac experience, but don't have the cash to shell out if you want to actually buy a Mac, because Macs are really expensive. Pear OS 8 really does reflect Mac OS X in the sense that it feels elegant when you're using it. It does feel like a more innovative operating system than Windows or other Linux distributions that I've used before. I'm definitely really impressed with the developers of this operating system and how they've managed to incorporate the Mac feel into a free operating system. The download link for Pear OS is also in the description below, so if you're interested in downloading this and trying it out, go ahead. So thanks for watching and I hope you like this demo slash review. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like button down below. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more, and don't forget to check out my Facebook and Twitter page. Also, don't forget to check out my website at www.gugu55techtutorials.com. All the links are in the description below.